I'm really excited to be bringing this module to you. It's about the steps that you need to take in order to build a business app. So it's very different to the experience that you'll have when you're building an app for yourself because you're not going to be the consumer and you don't necessarily even know what the needs of the business are. So the, the business requirements is, is much more uh, much more complex and it's harder to, to pin down. So what I'd like to do in this module is to give you some techniques that you can use to make sure that process is as simple as it can possibly be. So it really is intended to address the question of where on earth do you start with this? You want to be successful, of course you do. But do you start with do you just start building it? Do you, do you build the data model? And I'm just going to give you an idea of, of how to make a start on that. The first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to talk about the agile development methodology because it suits building Canvas apps extremely well. Now, don't worry about it. It's, it's not too complicated. It's all very sensible things. But one of the things that is really important in the agile development methodology is writing user stories. And I would probably be suggesting that the very first thing that you're actually going to do when you start to build a business app is you get involved in writing the user stories or encouraging the people in the business to write their user stories. So put in simple terms, if you were to do a business app which was to help with the onboarding process for new employees in a business, the user story could be as a HR manager, I want to know the status of specific tasks for a user joining our business so that they get to start in the business in an efficient manner. That might be a user story and there are, there are reasons why that, that works quite well. We're also going to take a look at process wireframes. So process wireframes are just a way of demonstrating how effectively a transaction goes through the business. And I call it a transaction. It may be a transaction or in this case, it may be a kind of unit of activity, a task that would go through the business. So that we're going to look at different ways in which you can build up process wireframes. We're also going to look at data modeling. And I've specifically made sure that data modeling comes after the process wireframes, because once you've got your process wireframes, you're going to realize that you're going to need certain uh, pieces of data in order for you to be successful. So that's where data modeling comes in. You're also going to want to think about how it is you're going to theme your apps quite early in the process because if you just start throwing different objects onto the screen of an app before you know it you will have um, you'll have lots and lots of things and then if somebody turns around you and say well actually I want it in my corporate colors then you've got a bit of a, a problem because you've got to then rework uh, all of your uh, all of these objects. We're also going to look at UX wireframes, user experience wireframes. Essentially, these are the screens that people will get to see when they are using the app. Now, I don't have a great answer for how it is you express the what of the, the various buttons and what they do. You do tend to find it's a highly iterative process of making it, it function a particular way and then going back to the business and say, well, you know, does this work for you and so on? It, it's probably not a perfect way of doing it, but that's what you'll probably find in, in many instances uh, will be the case. But but bear in mind that you've got your process wireframes, you've got your user stories, you've even got your data models and, and those will inform the the way in which you should be building your app in the future. So we're now at the point where once you've done those various building blocks for your business app, you'll be in a great position to be actually able to start building your app and the various elements that are needed for your app. I'll see you in the next lesson.